Data-driven organizations are grown and evolve over time. They go through various stages of growth as they reach maturity. These stages are based upon a hierarchy of data-driven needs. Essentially, we can't get to the next stage of development until we've sufficiently satisfied our lower, more primal needs. The most basic need of a data-driven organization is the need to collect data. This starts with basic data collection activities. For example, recording transactions, logging errors, and digitizing analog data. Then, as a company evolves, this can lead to more advanced forms of data collection. For example, gathering telemetry data from applications running in production, running experiments to create new data, and acquiring data from external sources. Next, we have a need to organize our data. We need to get our data into a form suitable for analysis. This starts with basic data organization tasks, for example, transforming, cleaning, and storing data. Then, as the company matures, this may often lead to building more robust solutions. For example, creating a data ETL pipeline, a data warehouse, or a data lake. Third, we have a need to analyze our data. We need to use our data to explain what's happening in our organization and why it's happening. This generally starts with basic data analysis tools. For example, reports, dashboards, and KPIs. Then, as the company matures, this can lead to more powerful forms of data analysis. For example, data mining, descriptive analytics, and diagnostic analytics. Fourth, we have a need to make predictions. We want to know what will likely happen in the future and how we should respond to these potential scenarios should they occur. This generally involves more advanced types of data analysis. For example, predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics, and machine learning. Finally, we have a need to automate. This is where we close the data science loop and remove the human from the process. This involves advanced technologies like artificial intelligence, deep learning, and reinforcement learning. To learn more, please click the link in the description. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.